I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You're going to learn something today about my flight controller. If you bought my flight controller recently, you may have been surprised to see there have been some changes. And in fact, some of you guys are writing to me and saying, hey, uh, where'd, the, where'd the SD card reader go? Yeah, there's a new version of my flight controller out, version 1.3, and I want to introduce you to it, show you what the changes are, tell you why we made some of the changes that we made, and, uh, it, well, I haven't updated the manual yet, so uh, just basically document the changes for those of you who are going, where, how do I wire this thing up? Stay tuned. This is version 1.3 of my flight controller, and uh, let me just walk you through the changes that we've made. Number one, we've got RX4 pad in the corner for ESC telemetry, so you no longer have to wire ESC telemetry all the way over to here, okay? Um, we did have to give up the ground pad in the corner. The pads are already small enough that some people have trouble soldering to them. So if you didn't want to make the pads any smaller to get a signal, a ground, and the ESC telemetry pad. So we basically swapped out the signal ground for the RX4. And if you really want to do ESC ground, you can just solder the signal ground to the ESC minus pad. They're so close together, there's just not any electrical difference there, or you can just leave that wire off. So for people who said, well, I really like that you had a signal ground, and I know you guys are out there, you're just going to have to solder the power and the signal together if you really want ESC ground. So, so no big deal. Uh, another change that we've made is that we have added the T6, transmit 6. So now UART 6 is broken out fully. So, for example, if you're doing crossfire, you no longer have to use UART 4 for that and give up. The, the original board only broke out the TX4 and RX4. That was the only UART you could use for crossfire. So now you get two full UARTs. UART 6 has both transmit and receive pad. UART 4 has both transmit and receive pad. Over here in the accessory header, we have changed this 5 volt output. This used to be a 5 volt output. Now it's VCC. Uh, you still can get 5 volts from the buzzer plus pad. So this is actually just a 5 volt output. So if you need 5 volts for your LEDs, this is where you're going to be soldering it to. But we realized that we didn't have a VCC output easily accessible on the top for and a lot of people run their video transmitters off of battery voltage so we we'll give you a VCC pad here you used to have to use ESC plus which was no it's, it's not ideal so here's your VCC pad uh, get 5 volts here we've also so we've moved TX4 and RX4 closer to the edge of the board and now they're adjacent to each other so if you are wiring up something like a crossfire receiver or really anything that's going to be using both TX4 and RX4 your wiring is going to be nice and neat and close to the edge of the board. We've added a little bit more filtering here on the video output. You can see there's a capacitor here just to add a little bit of filtering on the video output. Uh, this is the power pad for the, for the video uh, transmitter. On the underside of the board, we've moved the 5 volt pad closer to the edge of the board. So now it's just a little easier. If you do need a 5 volt accessory, it's just a little bit easier to wire up. It used to be somewhere in the middle of the board and was just a little bit messier to wire up. And this is a big one. We have added a 4-in-1 plug for a 4-in-1 ESC. On earlier revisions of this board, using it with a 4-in-1 ESC was really tedious if you wanted current sensing to work. And there's wire, you can go look at the user manual, which you can download from the Race Day Quads product page for my flight controller. The wiring diagrams were, it was a hassle. You had to run this 14 gauge or 12 gauge wire all over the place. It was a real mess. But that's what you had to do if you wanted to use a 4-in-1 ESC and have current sensing working. So now that we have this plug, number one, it's going to be a whole lot easier to wire up a 4-in-1 ESC because the signal wires will all just plug in here. You won't have to solder them to the board. You can, but you don't have to. And this 4-in-1 plug has a current sensor input for an external current sensor. So if your 4-in-1 ESC has a current sensor output, it will wire right up. So that's fantastic. Now this plug does not have an input for ESC telemetry in it. We had to pick between current sensing and ESC telemetry and we picked analog current sensing. Uh, this plug is made to be compatible with the AirBot standard. So AirBot ESCs should plug right in. Other ESCs, you'll, you'll need to come up with a custom plug header. Race Day Quad sells an SH silicon wire assortment, which is basically a bunch of pre-terminated wires and 
the little plug header so you can build your own. So if you have a 4-in-1 ESC that doesn't match this, I would recommend getting one of those and just building your own plug header. I'm actually working on a video showing how to do that that may come out in a couple days. The thing you'll notice is missing here is the SD card reader. Without doing a total redesign of the board, we had to pick between this plug header and the SD card reader. And so many people are using 4-in-1 ESCs these days and as much as I love black box and use black box all the freaking time, fewer people use black box than use 4-in-1 ESC. So I, I bit the bullet. We do have a data flash chip on here. So you've got 16 megabytes of storage. You can do black box, but you can't put an SD card in and just do black box for weeks and weeks and weeks like you used to be able to. That is going to do it for this video about my new flight controller, my new version of my flight controller, version 1.3. Uh, available now from all over the place. There's links down in the video description to some vendors, but there's so many out there I couldn't possibly list them all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for buying my flight controller. Uh, it means a lot to me that you put your your quad, your trust of your quad uh, on this, this little thing that I helped design. And, um, you know, I hope, uh, I hope it lives up to your expectations. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you like the improvements that we made. These are things that a lot of people asked for, even though they weren't in our original design. Hopefully more people will be able to use it. That's going to do it. Happy flying. Whatever flight controller you use. <laughs>